All right. Good morning, five minute traders. And I want to touch on crypto a little bit. <clears throat> I talk about it, I trade it, and honestly, it is the best trading vehicle uh, out there right now. So if you've got a, an account at Coinbase or, or somewhere else where you can get active with the cryptos, there's really three that, you know, between Ethereum, the regular Bitcoin, and uh, gosh, I can't even remember what the other one is, but there's like three symbols that have the most volume. And I'm always going to stick with liquidity. So this weekend, uh, Saturday, was a good opportunity to sell. Uh, once we climbed over 6,100, I felt again, uh, and we did get up to 6,200, and we're back to 5,700 here. And I just wanted to show how different time frames and how important this is. So if you miss the run up, you could you could argue that this is a safe buy in here. And, and look for a bounce here from 5,700, really 5,500 to 5,700. Now I have a, a longer time frame, so I took some off. But what I'm looking at here, and I just wanted to show how I would kind of progress through this. This is uh, this is a month now. You were looking at two weeks before. You can st still see we are in value, but as you start to pull back the the veil a little bit more, you do start to see the areas. Here uh, and 4,400 is still in my crawl where we're going to head next. Now, this doesn't happen, however, until we break under 5,500. So you've got to kind of be patient here uh, if you are short. Now, if you did sell like we did over, excuse me, on Saturday, 6,100 to 6,200, you take a little profits, you, you let the other half ride or, or you let a quarter ride and as it breaks again under 5,500, that's probably where you're going to want to press on it again. And so the way the market moves is it tends to move all in one direction. It reverses, tests, and uh, rolls over again, and tests, and rolls over. And then it, what, I think when this thing does break 5,500 again, it will move swiftly 1,000 points, just like it did back here. Uh, as it went from that new high of about 5,000 all the way back down to 3,000. So I think we're going to see a swift move here uh, of almost 2,000 points again, which would be a third off. And this is what it has to do. It has to trap people. It doesn't matter what's going on. So look for a move here uh, to another low and uh, see if we can't uh, get that down. So that's our idea. If you have access to crypto, uh, the time frames to me say this move here is really sketchy. We're running out of players and volume. You can see the volume's huge when we sell off, not so much when we go up. And this last move, especially, we had a huge divergence in the uh, momentum and the RSI. So uh, you can see even here when we spiked to 5,800, we had a good R RSI. Uh, on the on the four hour chart, but then not so much here as we went this weekend of 60 to 200. It's more reflexive the way this thing is behaving on weekends, and that is not a good way. Uh, it's more of the gamblers come in, and I, I again this thing has doubled uh, in less than five weeks again. So we went from 3,000 to 6,000. This just can't continue to go parabolic like this. Matter of fact, if you look at the daily chart. You start to see what we're talking about here, and and this is just pure insanity. Uh, it looks like a penny stock. It looks like uh, you know anything you want to call it, but uh, you just can't keep a parabola. <laughs> it doesn't reverse itself. The math doesn't work out. So eventually, when this thing breaks, uh, this is going to come all the way down. But we're just saying 4,400, which is this area. And again, this is a, this is a daily chart. So you start to see the the scale and the skew on this whole thing, and it gets really. It's really silly. So, again, look for a break of 5,500. It's at 5,700. Add to it. Again, this daily chart has just gone parabolic in the last month from 3,000 up to 6,000. Another double. And uh, I do think we will head back here in a short while. So, that's it. Have a great Monday. And we'll be back Tuesday with another trade idea. Have a great day. It is October 23rd, 2017. Have a great day.